how to screen record internal audio and video using QuickTime Player on an Apple Mac computer. The way to capture internal audio is by installing the black hole driver provided by Existential Audio. Black Hole is a macOS virtual audio loopback driver that routes audio between apps. To get the Black Hole driver, go to existential.audio slash black hole. On the web page, either donate $10 or click I can't afford to donate. Register your email address and your name and then click send link to download. Then check your email. Your email will have a link. Click that link and the link will take you to the existential audio download page. Click black hole 16 CH which, which stands for 16 channels black hole 16 CH install it and once you've installed the black hole driver move on to the next step which involves Apple's audio MIDI setup go to the applications folder go to utilities look for the icon with the piano keys and that's the audio MIDI setup. Click the audio MIDI setup and a window will open up that says audio devices. In the left column see black hole 16 CH. This confirms that, that the driver has been installed. Next in the left lower corner click the plus sign. Click Create Aggregate Device. You can rename it by clicking the name, which I did earlier. So the aggregate device I did earlier, and I named it QuickTime Player Input. I clicked Black Hole 16CH, and this records the internal audio. Now if you want to also record uh, speak yourself talking with a microphone you want to click built-in microphone. So Black Hole 16 CH records internal audio for example from a game that you're playing or uh, from a music video and then built-in microphone records you speaking into the microphone. So in my case I only want to record the internal audio so black hole 16 CH and that's the aggregate device. So I'm going to remove that, remove it by clicking the my sign. The next step is go to the left lower corner again, click the plus sign this time click create multi output device multi output device you can change the name which I did earlier by clicking the title and earlier I did that and I named it screen record with audio here you click built-in output and black hole 16 CH click both of these boxes Now we're done with this phase of the project. The next phase involves system preferences. So click system preferences, then click sound. Under output, notice that I'm currently at internal speakers built in. To record uh, the internal audio, you want to click screen record with audio. So 
Then what you want to do is open up QuickTime, QuickTime Player, and then click File and New Screen Recording. File, New Screen Recording. I'm currently recording with QuickTime Player, so that option is not available. So you click New Screen Recording, and then a control panel will open up. In this control panel, you want to click Open Up Options and click QuickTime Player Input. Notice that these names correspond to what we did earlier. We created two devices, QuickTime Player Input and Screen Record with Audio. And so the reason for the action that we took in the with the audio MIDI setup now becomes obvious. So an output, click screen record with audio, and then click QuickTime Player Input. Another option is if during the screen recording you want to show mouse clicks, click show mouse clicks. Or unclick it if you do not want to show mouse clicks, then click the shutter button to record the screen recording. Now when you're done recording the screen recording and you're moving on to your next project, make sure you go back to System Preferences, Sound, Output, and go back to built-in speakers, built-in internal speakers. So one more thing I'd like to discuss is if you notice in these in the audio MIDI setup, QuickTime Player Input has an option for drift correction, and Screen Record with Audio has an option for drift correction. And this is what Apple says about drift correction. This is from Apple.com. Drift correction. If devices in your aggregate device are not synchronized using hardware, you need to enable drift correction, also known as resampling, to compensate for drift in the data between devices. So what I do is I do the I do a test recording without drift correction and if synchronization is required I will enable drift correction. The link to the black hole driver I will put in the description box below.